Good morning, my friends. It's Tuesday, October 5th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. My cat is very happy. Where are you? Oh, well, there she is. She is purring and just content. And I have with me this beautiful cross, full of color and life. Oh, now the cat is purring and eating at the same time. That takes great talent. <laughs> we continue today in the second book of Kings. Josiah becomes king of Judah when he's eight years old, and he reigns for 31 years. That's a long time, especially back then. And he is faithful. He loves God, and he really tries hard to do all that God asks of him including fixing up the temple. He sends a scribe, Shapa, to Hilkiah, the high priest of the temple, saying, take this silver from the people and use it to pay laborers to fix up the temple, to correct all of the little holes and to cut wood and sand it down. And so Hilkiah goes about the business of fixing up the temple and the laborers find a book and they bring it to Hilkiah. Hilkiah gives it to Shapa the scribe who brings it to the king. The king reads the book and he tears his clothes. Bless you. He tears his clothes and says, oh no, if this book is from God, then, we, then my ancestors have done terrible things and haven't been following God's will. We have so much to repent for. Now, scholars are almost unanimous in believing that this book that was found in the temple was none other than Deuteronomy, the fifth book of the Torah. How fascinating that the scripture is found in the scripture. There are layers and layers of Bible here. There are people reading the Bible in the Bible just like Jesus will be reading and reciting scripture that is within the scripture. We don't tend to think of the Bible as being multi-layered, but it is. It informs itself like it informs us. And Josiah realizes that his fathers have not been listening and he's upset by that and he tries to correct their ways. How many years have you been reading the Bible? Has it affected you? Has it changed you? I like to tell people it's like water dripping on a rock. It shapes you if you just read it every day. The Eucharist does the same thing when we partake of it weekly. It's not that it's some simple rule book for us to follow. It's something that we wrestle with and struggle with, but then deeply absorb and it changes who we are. I don't know where I would be without it. I hope you feel the same way. Let us pray. Almighty God, thank you for this day. Guide us in the understanding that scripture is the word of God and that it is so complex and mysterious but that faithfully reading it will shape us, form us in your image. Call us today to do your work. No matter what happens on this day, help us to respond with love, grace, and kindness, to understand that these are in fact the weapons of the angels and to fight for the light. Bless those who are sick, bless the dying, the hungry, those who struggle with mental health issues. Bless all who mourn. Blanket this world with your peace and heal us from this deadly virus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.